Eyewitness News continues at 5.30 with a very dangerous shortage. Supplies of a life-saving drug for children with cancer is running low. Now, hospitals are having a really hard time getting a hold of it, and many are being forced to cut doses or ration it. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us now with how the health community and one family is dealing with the shortage. Yeah, it's serious, guys. You know, doctors say this drug is irreplaceable and a big reason for the 85% cure rate in pediatric cancer. Availability is limited in many parts of the country, but locally, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and Nemours DuPont tell me their supplies are good for now. 15 year old Lily Allred is battling acute lymphoblastic leukemia and depends on the chemotherapy drug Vin Christine for treatment. Missing or not being able to have one of those chemos can be detrimental. Um, it can throw a kid into relapse. Vin Christine is now in short supply because this summer the pharmaceutical company Teva announced it would stop making the drug due to business shortages. Teva was one of only two suppliers of the drug, which has no alternative. This is really going to cost lives uh, if we don't act and act as a nation to solve this problem. Doctors say Vin Christine is used to treat 80% of the 19,000 adolescents diagnosed with cancer each year. Without it, there would be a direct effect on a significant number of children. We feel it is unethical to be in a situation when we have to rational drug and say this is the family, this is the cancer that need this medication or this is the patient who needs it. Pfizer, now the only supplier of the drug, says it's scaling up production. The FDA says shortages are expected until December or January. If you don't understand where us as parents stand, come walk the halls of a children's oncology unit and you will understand why this is so important to us. Lily's cancer is in remission and her doctors say she still needs a final round of chemo to prevent a relapse. Her mom hopes the treatment is not interrupted. Now, St. Christopher's Hospital for Children in North Philadelphia has said it has enough of the drug for a week to 10 days, but will likely have to buy from a distributor where there is a significant price markup. There has also been a big outpouring on social media, parents with sick children begging pharmaceutical companies to do a better job of providing this life-saving drug. So this will be an ongoing situation we'll continue oh, to follow. No doubt. It no is. Doubt. Okay, Stephanie, thank you.